All right, I'm gonna walk you guys through how to set up your chart so it doesn't look like what you see on the screen and it looks more like mine. So first things first are the studies that I use. This is, this is the regular chart. This is what you're gonna see every time you open your Thinkorswim platform. Um, it's gonna show you a one minute chart and it's gonna have this little kind of uh, chart style here. I'm fine with this. What I want to have are Bollinger Bands and the Relative Strength Index. And I also want to have something called Bollinger Band Crossovers. That indicates when a stock has broken out uh, to the upside or downside, otherwise, otherwise like, uh, a buy signal. So first thing we're going to do is over here, you've got this Studies bar right here. We're going to click on Studies and Add Study. Now here are the problem. Here's the biggest problem. Look at all the studies that there are. Where are you possibly going to find the ones we're looking for? The list is endless. It's huge. It's not so easy to find. It's not so easy to use. You move the mouse one way or the other. It's going to set. It's going to come off. What I like to do is I like to just go to edit studies. This way you can search for what you're looking for. So the very first one we're going to look for are Bollinger Band crossovers. You see it pop up right there. We're going to click it. We're going to hit Add Selected. Then we're going to click on Bollinger Bands, Add Selected, and finally we're going to go to RSI, uh, Add Selected. We're going to hit Apply, and look at that. Already on the chart, it shows up. We're then going to hit OK, and that's it. Pretty freaking easy, huh? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the time interval of the chart, the time frame setup. It has it on a one day uh, option. The other options are, as you can see, five day, five minute, 15 minute charts over a five day period, 10 day charts. But what I like to do is I like to have this one down here, which isn't actually one that they offer. You have to set it up manually. It's a five minute, one day, five minute chart. So what you do is you go to Customize List, and uh, right here you're going to add time frame under time favorite time frames. You want intraday, and the uh, the time interval is five minutes. Period. We are then going to oops, I'm sorry, one day with a five minute time period, and then we're going to add it. We're going to hit OK. We're going to go back up to here. And here it is. That is the chart we want. That's a five minute chart. The reason I like five minute charts is because they give you a broader sense of what's going on in the market. A one minute chart, as I've said in a lot of other videos, one minute charts could simply just mean that uh, one guy came in, bought a shit ton of stock, pushed the stock up higher, it broke out, but it wasn't a real breakout. There wasn't a real rally, there wasn't real momentum or uh, volume, it was just one guy. What we wanna see is sustained period of movement, of growth. So we want the five minute one. That'll show us that the stock is really moving in a significant way. So there you have it, pretty straightforward. Uh, the last thing I wanna talk about is how to overlap the volume like you see here when you click on the settings indicator it's gonna go right here overlap volume if you don't volume is gonna be down here but I like it over the chart I think it looks smoother I think it takes up less room and so there you have it that is how you set up your charts um, I've done a video on how to set up your charts on the Ameritrade website this is the thinkorswim website or, or app I mean um, and I'll do another video so you can set up these same exact charts on your phone. If you haven't subscribed, by the way, please do so. Just like and subscribe. Hit the little bell notification as well so you get updates for when I do new videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.